This is a video demonstration of a count up and count down together. Notice that our counters have the same address. We have C5 colon 1 for our count up identified by CTU and the same address for our CTD or count down. And they've been identified with the same description. Because they share the same address, they have the same description. Here's our reset for that counter. And when we reset it here, both of these will reset at the same time to zero. We've got our done bit for this counter, which is set, the preset value is five. And our countdown bit, which should activate this light and a count up bit which should activate the red light. I'm going to go ahead and turn on switch zero. I'm holding that to show you that the count up is true. The enable bit or the count up bit is true. And down in the bottom rung you can see that the count up bit is true activating our red light that is tied to output colon two slash two. When I release, our count up is now false, so this bit went false, turning off our light. I'll do it again. False. Now let's look at the count down function. As you could probably guess, when I activate this input, it will make this go true and increment our accumulation value down instead of up. So we're at two currently. I will now make it go true. I'm holding it in, and you can see that the countdown instruction is true. The countdown bit is also true down below, activating our green light. I'll release the switch, and now our accumulation value is at 1. One more time, down to 0. Now let's count up to 5. When we reach 5, our done bit goes true. You can see here, done bit true, and our done bit for C5 colon 1 goes true activating our yellow light. Our yellow light is on 0. Well if I increment down you could see that our done bit goes false. So this proves that the counter instruction looks at the accumulation value and says if I'm equal to or greater than my preset then my done bit will go true.